In the realm of fantasy football, where the line between victory is as thin as the Bill Belichick rulebook, you may find yourself wasting hours of time in front of the TV listening to useless commentators whose information is about as accurate as a broken GPS. Trust me, that path leads to nowhere. I was on that path. What if there was a better way? A data-driven way to make your fantasy football decisions? Look, this isn't your grandpa's fantasy football league or your grandpa's national football league. This is the modern age of information where data is king. In this video, I will reveal the top five data-driven tips that professionals use to gain an edge in fantasy football. These tips are backed by data and used by all the pros. Okay, so tip number one is obtaining your data. Obviously, you need data to analyze, and we're going to use free resources. In this case, we're using Google Sheets, which is a free resource. I've included the link down in the description. And we're also going to use Pro Football Reference, which I just basically Googled football stats. And the first search was Pro Football Reference. And Pro Football Reference has basically annual stats on players, teams, and all the metrics we need to measure here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, copy and paste this entire table into my spreadsheet. And there's a few ways to do this. You can also export the table and uh, upload it using a Google Chrome extension. But this is just kind of the fastest and easiest way for now. Um, I already have a data page ready as uh, it did take a while to upload or to paste due to the size. But as you can see here, you have your entire data set. Now, as I was saying earlier, fantasy football, it's not a game of inches. It's a game of spreadsheets. In this case, the first thing you want to do is clean up your headers. You want to make sure that your headers make sense. Uh, when looking at the uh, pro football reference table, you see that they have RK is rank and then TM is team. You want to go ahead and change that. You want to make sure that your headers are clean. And I know, you know, it sounds tedious, but trust me, cleaning your data is the foundation of success. Stay with me until the last step to find out why this is a crucial and relatively easy step to get you into a God level of fantasy football analysis. Okay, tip number two, conditional formatting. What is conditional formatting? Conditional formatting makes it easy to identify values in cells that stand out, whether they're positive or negative. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, after you have your nice data set here, I like to continue to clean it. And what I mean is I'll bold the top header columns so I know what I'm doing, it makes it look cleaner. Also, I'll add a little gray just so it shadows it. And then I know I'm analyzing the players and I have a long list. So if I look at, if I click right here, I can drag this over to after the player name. And then if I scroll from side to side, I can see the player's values consistently with the player name. But conditional formatting, what is conditional formatting and how can we take advantage of it? Okay, so right here we see the age. I want to make sure that I can identify easily the younger players compared to the older players. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the entire column. I'm gonna go to format, conditional formatting, and then that's gonna bring this option up here on the side. And what I'm gonna choose is instead of single color, I'm gonna use color scale. Now you can see that the colors are, uh, that the values are being identified by a color. Um, we want to change the color scale to identify the oldest players in a red, so a bad, and the younger players in a green, um, the good. The younger, the better. Uh, age is not just a number. In fantasy football and in football, it's everything. Uh, let's also do another one. Let's do targets. I want to identify quickly who has the most targets. And we can do the same exact thing. Okay, format here, this,
Okay, now that your entire Google Sheet is formatted the hell up, you can now do a little bit of analysis. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is click on this little square here and it highlights the entire document. Then click on this little upside down triangle that says create a filter. And now your entire spreadsheet has filters. And what that means is you can basically uh, sort by alphabetical order. You can sort by team played for. You can also sort by age. You can sort by all your columns. Now, why does this make it key? As you can see here, we're already analyzing. Let's see Travis Kelsey, one of the older players on our spreadsheets. High targets, high receptions, pretty much all in the green. This is going to be one of the premier players, according to the spreadsheet. But let's see what else we can find. Let's see yards per game. Everyone is going to have a high yards per game, but we notice here a red. Devontae Adams has a 55% catch percentage while having one of the highest yards per games in the league. Uh, let's look at this one right here. 39 uh, yards for the longest catch on CD Lamb. So he wasn't really breaking long ones, but extremely efficient in all the other metrics. Let's look at this one. DeAndre Hopkins. Or no, that's not DeAndre Hopkins. Yes, it is. DeAndre Hopkins. You can see here, DeAndre Hopkins. His longest catch was 33 yards, but pretty good um, everywhere else. You can see green, green all over green all around. Um, let's look at some other items. Let's look at uh, touchdowns. Let's see if touchdowns has any revealing items. Devontae Adams, great. Again, 55% catch percentage. That's what's going to stand out. And then if I look at other options, like let's say catch percentage, let's focus on the catch percentage. Now let's see where we can find some hidden gems. Okay, I see that some of my running backs are here, so I kind of want to take them out of the equation. On position, I'm going to take out the running back and the tight end. And now I'm looking at only the wide receivers, and I'm looking at their catch percentage. Uh, while looking at their catch percentage, I can see that Juju Smith-Schuster, 78 receptions, high catch percentage, and pretty much good across the board, except for the touchdowns. He should have a positive... Um, trend moving forward. I think these numbers go up. Uh, let's look at another player that stands out. Isaiah Hodgins, 77% catch percentage, but low targets, low receptions. Here's a good one. Chris Godwin, high catch percentage, high targets, high receptions. These are just the basic little analytical uh, views and tricks you can do with just conditional formatting. It helps you analyze and view the data faster. All right, well, congratulations. You made it to tip number four. And if you're still with me, then I know you're, you're definitely looking for to gain an edge on the competition. And thank you for staying with me this long. Uh, guys, please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and please like the video on the link below. Any little bit of support always helps. Tip number four is how the pros change the game. And what I mean by the pros change the game is, well, we have 2022 player receiving stats and right now I want to absolutely crush the analysis and how am I going to crush the analysis well I'm gonna add my own metric and the metric I'm going to add in this case is going to be the opportunity efficiency score and what the hell is the opportunity efficiency score that metric it's gonna combine a player's targets receptions, and touchdowns to measure how efficiently they convert opportunities into fantasy points. The basic thing that we're doing is we're going to take the receptions, we're going to add it to the, we're going to add them to the touchdowns, and then we're going to divide that by the total targets. So let me just show you what the formula is going to look like. So you're going to take this. So what we're doing is I2, which is your receptions, plus your touchdowns, then divided by H2, which is going to be your total targets. And we are now going to press enter, and I am going to highlight the cell and create 
a, let's see, format number. This is a percent. I just like to call it a percent. And I'm going to take this value, control C, so copy, drag this down, control V and paste it. And I've now just built my own opportunity efficiency score. That's how you can come up with one of your own metrics. And of course, I'm going to conditional format it and then add it like this. And now we're going to see who out of all these players takes advantage of their opportunities the most. Okay, should have done that. Like this. Okay, we're going to see Will Drizzly, but maybe I only want to look at the wide receivers again. Here we go. Richie James, Isaiah Hodgins, Greg Dorch, Cooper Cup. Now, keep in mind, targets, game started. This is going to play a factor. This is why you have to look at all the columns. But if you're looking for an opportunity efficiency score, right here, we're going to look at the first guy that has kind of greens all around the way, Tyler Lockett. No surprise there. This is one of your own, this is one of the ways that the pros build an edge when coming up with fantasy league metrics. Tip number five is don't stop. You know, once you've built one of your own metrics, like an opportunity efficiency score, don't stop. Keep adding your own metrics. Uh, another one I'm going to add now is a uh, consistency score. What's a consistency score? Uh, consistency score, it's going to measure a player's consistency in yardage and scoring. Okay, what does that mean? So what we're going to do is we're going to take basically the touchdowns. We're going to multiply it by, I'm going to use the value of six, which is my fantasy league's points value for every touchdown. Uh, I'm going to multiply then touchdowns by the fantasy league touchdown points of six. And then I'm going to add the total yards. So I'm going to take columns K, which is going to be yards. I'm going to take column M, which is going to be touchdowns. And I'm also going to reference games played, which is just column F. I'm going to divide everything by the games played. So just to have my formula ready, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it here, press enter. And there is my consistency score. And I'm going to control C, control V. I will paste it across the or the, the spreadsheet. Then I will go back to my filtering. This way I can sort by the consistency score. I'm gonna clean the decimals a little so it looks cleaner. And now I am really, really fine. Let's see, I still wanna just measure, let's do the running backs. No, tight ends and wide receivers only. Okay. And you know what? I wanna kinda of have this at their age too, just so I can measure everything. All right, so looking at a consistency score, I'm gonna look from the right column and then look to the left. So the first thing I wanna match up is green, 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 and then I hit green here, and I'm looking across the way. So, okay, fumble's normal, but let's keep looking. Yards per game, strong, we're seeing all green. I don't even have to read the values, I'm just looking at the colors. Uh, green, green, and I'm seeing it's Cooper Cup. Age, a little concerning. So, you know what? You want to factor a few things here. Your consistency score, your opportunity efficiency score, and I would say age. Let's look at it this way. Look at it this way. Let's look at it this way. So, I'm gonna hide all these columns. Hide all these columns. And I'm going to say, looking at age, opportunity, efficiency score, and consistency score, the first one that I'm going to highlight down my list is going to be right here, Amon Ra St. Brown. I think Amon Ra, due to his age, his efficiency, his consistency, I think you're looking at a breakout star. Who's next? Devontae Smith. Same thing. Numbers are almost identical. We don't talk about Amon Ross St. Brown the way we talk about Devontae Smith, that's for sure. Let's keep looking, let's keep looking. Who else stands out? Jerry Judy, T. Higgins, Chris Godwin. Godwin not as young as the rest, but you can see Michael Pittman Jr. These are going to be future NFL stars. But the one thing I'm calling out right here is 
Amon Ra St. Brown is going to blow up this year. Take it to the bank. Look, at this point, I think we provided enough metrics, and I'm going to give one more bonus metric. Well, you made it to the bonus tip, and if you stayed with me this long, you are going to be thankful because this tip is going to blow your mind. This is the tip that ends all tippage. In this case, if you really want to have an edge and you want to know how the hell did this guy come over the come up with an opportunity efficiency score and a consistency score? Well, I didn't. I used this thing. And ChatGPT can help you come up with algorithms and formulas to really push your analysis. That's why it's important to kind of have these columns cleaned up. I copied these columns, I told ChatGPT what the headers were, and I said, provide me with a really advanced formula that will take age into consideration. The younger the player, the better. It created for me this Age Adjusted Fantasy Potential, or AAFP, which I thought was pretty cute. So I'm gonna copy this, copy this code. I'm gonna now go back to my sheet. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to edit, paste. I'm going to enter. And now I'm going to move the decimals over and let's see what my AARF says. ARF, the formula, copy it all the way down. Okay. Format, conditional formatting. Love to do our conditional formatting, of course. Boom, boom. Okay, filter, and now let's run our same analysis using our AARF advanced algorithm metric. Okay, first player I'm going to look at using our AARF. Well, Justin Jefferson by far is the uh, number one player it picks out, then Tyree Kill. But let's go a little. Let's let's look at let's look for breakout players, right? So number one, obviously Jefferson. Number two, we're going to have Jamar Chase. And remember, we're filtering this or sorting this by AARF. We're looking at Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, C.D. Lamb, Jalen Waddell, Amon Ra St. Brown, Devontae Smith, T. Higgins, Jerry Judy. You can see these are the young superstars in the league. Uh, one thing, again, that I want to call out, and it's sticking out like a sore thumb, Amon Ra St. Brown has a higher opportunity efficient score, opportunity efficiency score than Jalen Waddle. He's going to have no fumbles, and he's going to have one of the higher AARFs. His yards per game high. I think you are looking at a real breakout year for Amon Ra St. Brown. 